My name is Dean Obidala. I'm a comedian, and I'm also the executive producer of the Amman Stand-Up Comedy Festival in Amman, Jordan. I mean, I really didn't identify that strongly with being Arab before 9-11. You know, I went to sleep September 10th a white guy, and I woke up September 11th an Arab. I want to see, like, an Arab James Bond. This is my dream. Instead of saying Bond, James Bond, he goes, Abdullah, Abdullah, Abdullah. <laughs> Someone offered me to do a show in the Middle East. I go, get out of here. No one's going to come to this show. They're not going to laugh at the jokes. Before three years ago, there was, was no history of stand-up comedy in the region. <laughs> and in the last three years, the young people there have not only come out to the shows, they are now doing it more and more themselves. A lot of them are now doing comedy in Arabic. This year, we have a comic from Egypt, a, a female comic, Ola Rashti. I was, I was the first, actually, female Egyptian or Arab to, to do stand-up comedy in Arabic. For women, it's challenging because of the subjects that you can talk about. You can't really, some sub subjects, maybe the people would not really like accept it from a woman. But other than that, I think they, they find it like intriguing as well. We have found out that the jokes we do that are more generic about relationships or world events, they get laughs. But jokes about Arab culture get huge laughs, way off the chart. The Arab, you go to an Arab house, it's like food everywhere. You have to eat, you know, you're rude if you don't eat. You know, and with Arabs, very thin line between, you know, accommodating and accosting. You know what I mean? There's, there's, there's hospitality and then there's hostage taking. You know what I mean? That's something Americans never see. The idea of an Arab laughing at himself. It's so humanizing. And it's something that, that's one of my passions, that, to try to get this on American TV so that people in the West can see we have this common humanity. There are express limits, though. Well, in general, there are three subjects that you can't talk about anyway. It's like politics sex and religion. You cannot say something insult anyone or insult any country or any habit. You have to say it in a nice way just to talk about it, you know. In Lebanon they said, say whatever you want, but if you make fun of Hezbollah, you're on your own. Until you cut away to the audience, it could be any American comedy club or theater. It's when you cut away to the audience and see the audience filled with Arab men and women wearing hijabs, the head covering, sitting next to each other laughing, that you realize you're not in America anymore. That's really the only way to tell. Winning part two.